Anyway, it's a lot better day than it's been some days recently. It's even uh, in, the, in the mirror, it actually looks better at home than this way. There's some quite a bit of blue sky over there. So I don't think I've really got time to be staying with them because I'm quite, I'm quite early. I set off. Okay, it's nearly quarter to ten now. But they don't start selling till 12, so I'll be there at half past 10 or there about soon after anyway. And I'm not hanging around in Malton for two hours, at least. When the cows are home, I still haven't really been fed. I've got, they've got plenty to eat, but uh, if I come straight back, I'll be uh, feeding them a relatively late. About, uh, if I come straight back, I won't get started till 12 feeding. And I've got sheep to do, trailer to wash out. Something happened, I mentioned it yesterday, we've got this uh, vet visit thing to do. And uh, he rang up quite late yesterday and said uh, we could do it tomorrow if you like, like Saturday, sorry, Saturday, he didn't mean today. And I said, oh no, hang on a minute, I'll, I'll be catching up from uh, Friday, thinking quickly, because I think he'll want... Well, I, I, this is the trouble, I don't even know what he wants to do. He mentioned looking at her books and, and medicine records, which isn't really a problem, except I keep mine on a spreadsheet, so I would print at least part of it, so to show I can print it. Well, I keep a proper herd book in a book, but uh, I do the other stuff on a spreadsheet, which apparently is perfectly all right because you can print it. I mean, in some ways it's safer than having one book because I've got several copies of that running on, on backups and then, so, whatever. Anyway, in, in any case, <coughs> even if something is not quite right, I think he just advises you that it's not quite right and there you go. That's the whole idea of it, I think. So he said it would probably only take about half an hour and I did I did ask him what the charge would be and he said about £60, but well, that's not too bad. I thought it was going to be more than that. If it's only £60 I don't, I don't uh, mind. But I was surprised we haven't had a, had a vet visit for about a year and that was only for a TB test. There was the only real thing I've had uh, unusual drugs, shall we say, for was uh, a calf that had, uh, what's it called, uh, like brain inflammation, meningitis, and uh, it worked mir miraculously well, what he did. So, uh, what we gave me, which is apparently you won't be able to, uh, they won't be able to prescribe remotely things like that anymore, so, like last November, I believe it was, whenever it was, this calf had meningitis. I ra rang up and described the symptoms which I thought was meningitis, and she agreed with me. Prescribed some stuff which I went down and picked up, jabbed him mid morning, and the next day it was getting better. But anyway, that, that would not be allowed, you'd have to come out and have a visit. And, well, I don't know, I assume they would trust you to jab it yourself. But uh, some countries you're not allowed to inject a inject a bubble or whatever, it's ridiculous. So uh, I have to do a little bit of uh, well housekeeping I suppose you could say, just make sure everything's up to date. Uh, and literally clean the house up a bit because uh, you'll want to come in the house and look at the laptop and things I suppose. Uh, downstairs anyway. <laughs> Not that it's that bad but uh, you know, make sure we've got a nice clean worktop for him to put the laptop on. Was to put the laptop on. Look at the books. Oh, honestly, it's not awfully reminiscent of the hideous day that is uh, was Farm Assurance Day. Because it got to the point it was taking like three or four hours. So, obviously, well, you don't have that time when you're doing everything on your own still got to do your normal feeding round. 
I absolutely hated the vibe shows and that was part of the reason why. So I stopped it. As soon as I didn't have to do it, I stopped doing it for uh, dairy. So. so that's under control, kind of. Whether the... Oh shit, you could. Ooh, she changed her mind pretty sensibly. Because I was really going to struggle to stop in time for that bugger. Did I say these, these three cattle I've got in there? They're actually two of the younger ones and uh, one a bit older. The two younger ones are, well, one's just about exactly 12 months and the other is a little bit less, so 11 and 12 months. And the two younger ones are, are really eye catching. One particularly is absolute showstopper. He, if he doesn't make best price in there, I'd be surprised, although he's not that big. And I, I notice he's got a very slight limp as well on his front foot. He has had this for a while. It's partly just from seeing, being so bloody heavy. I think, and the and the, the older one has a bit of a cough, which uh, it didn't seem to be bothering him. He was prancing about as he got in the new low shed where they were loading. <sighs> but uh, but what that is, I don't know. I mean, they've just been wormed, so can't be that. just through it yesterday. I can't quite, it, it, this time of year, Utley Hall is such a dark, gloomy place. It, uh, I came back through here, it wasn't, it wasn't much after three o'clock and it was so dark. But you know, there was no sun and it was three o'clock anyway. It was sort of brightish down here, not as bright as distance here. It was either a special relationship with Utley Hall that was sought because we went to school in that building on the right. Which, uh, it's like a shop now, and uh, I think upstairs is a holiday let of some description. And because uh, we used to live up on the hill just at the south down here and used to walk to school aged. I was what, seven? What, what, what are they? Still very high. It was raining on and off well into the night, like most of the night. In fact, I don't think it's been stopped long at all. But I, I counted uh, less than one millimetre since midnight. There's been some comments about there's, there's, there's a gypsy, t I think it's the gypsy caravans here. They've been here for ages. He has a motorbike as well. I know mean, one's really sort of disliking him, but he has this little dog. That could be him there. These dogs look fastened up. And they're fastened up outside a caravan. And apparently, it was an incident where one of them had run towards the road, he couldn't get to the road because it's on a lead or a chain, but um, <coughs> a lorry driver had sort of swerved to avoid the dog running towards the road and nearly run into a cart to the way. I know someone else was, well just sorry for the little dog sat out its eye in there, because it was cold, because they're not they're like, I don't know if it's uh, like a little poodle or something, like a poodle type dog, not, not very big. I mean it looks well, looks after look like, don't get me wrong, but you probably don't really want a dog in a caravan. I don't know why exactly they're uh, stopped there.
but for, for so long, I mean, I know they often do stop there, but why are they there for so long? I don't know. Maybe it looks a bit like he hasn't got a vehicle, actually. I mean, there's two, there's a, a good caravan and a more or less scrap caravan. I don't know what that was all about either, but... Uh, We're not going to get through the lights this time, I don't suppose. <coughs> but I've seen it worse. The stopping. We may get through next time. I often relate this story though, once where I was stopped just at these lights and I don't know what happened to the... They all started bellowing it back and... Uh, I mentioned this on one of the farm forums and it says, well, Little have got carrots on offer, or cabbages. Might have been that. But they didn't have a sign outside about it though, so... Who knows? Cube behind us. Hopefully, we'll get through. Surely. I think I'll keep going anyway, unless the, the one in front stops. Quarter past ten, we'll be there. <coughs> About fifteen minutes, hopefully. Of course, you never know. You don't know until you get actually there, do you? So anyway, we've got uh, rain totals yesterday. I think we got to uh, about 25 millimetres, so that's 30 for the month so far. On its only day three. <laughs> but uh, it is actually looking a bit dry for a few days now, so things can drain down a bit. Because this is what really causes problems when it's waterlogged already, and then you get another even even 5 or 10 millimetres. It's a lot of rain when it's already waterlogged. Like literally standing water on fields like here, look. you just can't get away because the river level is basically the same. It will go down though, as long as it's not more than a few, a week or two, all will be well. And as I say, it's looking quite, quite decent for through next week. Well, we often get a nice spell of weather this time of year. Not so much, you know, in November, but we haven't really had one through October, perhaps from early, the early restart of the month. So, there's always a tendency for it to get a bit locked in a pattern to do with jet streams and things. And so what if it did settle down a bit, it could be quite a nice spell for a while, even if it's only partly settled down. This road, like here, it's quite surprising how bumpy it is. You can actually feel a bit like you've got a flat tyre. I know you'd know about it if you had a flat tyre in reality, but you just start to wonder at the time. This isn't the only place either. Coming up towards this bridge, I guess it's like difficult subsoil conditions. A lot of water there right by the road. On the right, you can't see it now, but uh, it was really just a field pool. But you can't be able to see properly, you might just glimpse it, but there's water ever so deep alongside here. Really, the actual river level is higher by some margin than the adjacent fields. Now, this road here was shut memorably, I think it was 2001, for, for at least a, a week. 
it's a major road obviously so they raised it up about four feet and put like giant culverts under which you can see oh, we've got a flood situation it's not flooding though they have to pump here so this this dip here has notoriously been uh, uh, floods through this dip hole if it's that I mean, the river is literally brim full to top of them bank that uh, bank and uh, it hasn't come over yet but they have to there's like a I suppose it's essentially a tributary comes in there and they have to pump that over the top because it can't it's alright for a little while but then it starts to back up oh dear a number of times this road is closed Surprise, surprise. They're jamming right back to here. There's a cattle wagon there in front. I wonder why Shawfield Lane is closed. He looks like a just a oil protester. And the fun fair is in town as well, so half the car park is blocked off.
the medieval street layout causing chaos.